Today, we have Godowski's left hand elegy. Depending on how we play it, we can highlight different things about the piece and bring about different aspects of what he's trying to express, um, unburden himself with. And I want to look at the score for all the hints that he'd left us um, and how to honor what he wanted to share with the rest of the world by writing this piece. So here's his moderato and he says Sarka 60, which is quite fast actually for this piece. Um, I find anyway, so it's about, it's, so this is 60. So if I were to play according to his metronome marking, it goes like this. So about this, I want to say two things. One is that I find that composers tend to write a faster tempo marking than would be acoustically reasonable, acoustically or physically reasonable. And I think the reason is because when we think about music, when we're reading music and thinking about the music, um, it goes faster. And so we were to look at this as a reference, as what he had in mind, but uh, what could that mean in reality when we actually try to think about like what he wanted to express at this tempo in his mind. So it says molto espressivo and mesto legato with piano marking. Mesto is sadness. So the other thing that I want to say about the circa 60 metronome marking is that he really wanted to sort of focus on the horizontal line rather than the vertical. So you that's that's the top melody. But it's a what he wrote here is a very complicated polyphony. So just for the sake of analogy, I would say that this is the mother mourning the loss of her child. One. And then there's the father, one, two, three, four, right? And then there's the undertone, the undertone of sadness in the bass, right? And then there are the others in the room, could be relatives, could be neighbors, So here's the first measure. So already I'm much slower than the tempo marking. This is This is 56. It's, it's very complicated. The second measure, the mother, one, two, three, four. The father, one, two, three, four. And mother and the father, one, two. And then the neighbors, the, you know, the others. together right ah. <laughs> let's look at the third measure the mother one two three four and the father one two three four 
the mother and the father. Wum. The sort of the undertone in the room. The undertone with the mother and the father. The others. Everybody. The third measure, the mother. One, two, three, four. The father. One, two, three, four. The mother and the father. One. Undertone in the room, the undertone in the mother and the father, the others, everybody. The first four measures. Or something in the fourth measure, there's a crescendo. So, the fifth measure is a forte. So, <laughs> the fifth measure is a forte. Mezzo forte with a diminuendo. Mezzo piano with a more diminuendo. Sorry. Mezzo piano. Diminuendo e rallentando. Piano e tempo. Molto crescendo. Agitato. Più forte. And then here's the climax, the apex. Appassionato fortissimo. Yum. Molto diminuendo. Alentando a tempo mesto sadness return of the fin Okay and the same thing same thing and then diminuendo Menomoso. Menomoso only to circa 50, which is not very slow, but still slower, significantly slower. Molto espressivo. Molto crescendo ed appassionato. And then here's a fortissimo with sforzando, same register with the climax. Calmando, molto diminuendo e poco rallentando. Sforzando in the bass with the sforzando piano. 
en un piano expresivo y tranquilo. Crescendo, calentando. Pianissimo, più rallentando. Pianissimo, with three piece. 